You guys voted for it, so you are gonna get it. So in today's video, we're gonna try the Galaxy S24 Ultra once more with battery bypass feature using the exact same setup as the previous video. You can watch it at the top right corner here. And we are introducing this cooler here. And uh, I know there are a lot of coolers available in the market right now, but uh, I have this in the storeroom. So technically, this is the only cooler that I have. So we're just gonna use this. So this is the Black Shark Fun Cooler 3 Pro. It has a TEC plate with a fan. TEC stands for thermoelectric cooler, which means it's uh, gonna need quite a lot of power. So we will also use this single power bank because it has triple outputs. So we'll connect one to the phone for bypass charging feature and then another port to this cooler here. So the unboxing experience, I don't know why I'm doing an unboxing of a cooler in this video, but might as well, I think. So it's a simple cooler. Oh, I like the color. It's a bit purple. And remember to peel off this sticker here because TEC, they will need the... I think this is some sort of a thermal pad. So it will transfer heat from the phone to this plate here and then all of the heat will get transferred to the heat sink inside, the purple color fins, and then this fan will blow away all the heat. That's how ATEC works. Um, yeah, we will just rip this off, but do remember, it is going to attract a lot of dust, so keep it as clean as possible. I'm not even going to use the USB cable, so we'll leave the box somewhere far away. So the setup, like what we mentioned earlier, is going to be the same as yesterday. So cable to here. Then this one to here, but this time, this USB-A to this port. And then we connect this short cable to the cooler. So it goes in here, then we should on. Okay, this is a fancy looking cooler. And since it is TEC, it is using electricity to cool this plate off. And I can immediately feel the coldness. Eventually, you will have some moisture here, so uh, I'm going to turn it off for now. And what we're going to do is the same thing as before. Go here, enable GPU watch. Then after that, we'll hit into Gaming Hub, press here. Uh, Game Booster, we will just double check all of our settings again. So this option is enabled. And then this option is also enabled. Oh, okay, so for those who ask, oh, please disable GOS. GOS is a thing of the past. Currently, if you enable this, then you're going to get the best performance from your phone. Game plugins, we are still running it at the highest possible render resolution. So just to double confirm here, uh, Game Booster Plus. Let, we'll go back to Genshin Impact. So everything is at the absolute maximum. Frame Booster disabled. So for those who are saying that uh, Samsung will add about 10 frames more, to the FPS meter and that's fake and that is because you enabled Git Frame Booster. Disable this and then you should be getting what is actually happening on the screen. And then finally, uh, PerfZ. We are also enabling PerfZ to see the temperature which is what we did for the previous test as well. So let's hit into Genshin Impact. And apparently they have an update. So okay, uh, we'll plug this into the phone right now. We shall check the battery percentage again, 48%. With the battery bypass feature, the battery percentage shouldn't increase. So we plug it in. There we go. Bypass charging is enabled. And then we shall snap in the cooler right now. So uh, I don't know how to snap it in because the chipset in this phone is located somewhere around this area here. Uh, snapping a cooler to the middle part, it's not a direct cooling of the chipset, so I don't know how much it will help. So uh, I think that's why we're doing this video, right? So we'll snap it in as close to the chipset as possible. So as we can see, uh, it is already touching the camera. So this is the closest that we can get to the chipset located here. And uh, yeah, we will just proceed with this. <sighs> there are lots of cables and uh, it's not that aesthetically pleasing. So, okay. So uh, let's just start the logging process. 
So I have also turned on the cooler and the entire idea of this video is to test if we will actually thermal throttle when we play this game on the S24 Ultra with the cooler. Uh, I will be exploring this Chen Yu Veil a bit more. I will just unlock the waypoints all around. After about half an hour, we shall stop. So remember, the thermal throttling will start somewhere around 46 degrees Celsius. So uh, we shall see if it ever reaches that temperature. Clear skies can do nothing to hide the brilliance of lightning. Divine bolts can strike even in the absence of rain. Do you see that tree? Wait, you understand? So, demonstration. I don't know why, when it's night time, I will get half a second of ping. This is horrible. Because if I play during the day, I can actually get like about 80 something milliseconds of ping. So, I'm not sure what's going on with this game. Oh god. Hmm, no idea what is this. Oh yeah, the reason why I'm doing this video is also because this content will be used in our future video as well. All of the data gathered will be used in a future video. So uh, we will talk about thermal throttling, its effects, how to mitigate it and whatnot. Of course, using a cooler will definitely mitigate thermal throttling, but not always. So... Uh, for this case in particular though, it does seem like the cooler is helping quite a lot as we are only getting 38 degrees Celsius at most. But that's the current situation, so we'll try a bit more and see what happens. This place is massive. Lots of mountains, very beautiful area. Uh relaxing music as well so that's a plus i'm really just not a fan of all these mountains because climbing them is uh, it's gonna be difficult so better get the the cat lady kirara because you know climbing she's the best at this job but those those flying magical carp thing is gonna help a lot
half a second of lag. What the heck? Yo. Oh, you did. Oh, you did as well. Why is there a trail of dead bodies? Is it some sort of environmental storytelling or what? Ayo, half a second of lag. Bro! Let's change tactics. Make yourselves a home. Our bond is strong. Okay, so this boss isn't annoying, it's quite easy to defeat and uh, I mean Hyper Bloom is a very broken reaction, it's way too OP and we took out the boss in no time even though my, my Nahida was nearly dying. So yeah, that's the overall test and we will look at the power consumption graph first as we can see here with the cooler on the phone itself it will consistently draw a lot more power if we just take a very rough guesstimate of the average i would say it's around 6 point something nearly 7 watts of average power intake and if we just refer to yesterday's graph we can see that without the cooler the average power draw is gonna dip quite a lot after it starts thermal throttling at the about 13th minute mark and it will take somewhere around 4 point something watts only and remember, we started this session of testing with 48% of battery. And at the end here, once we have played the game for half an hour with this battery bypass feature turned on, we are still getting 48% of battery. So yes, there is zero change to our battery life. Uh, it's been half an hour, so I have still not seen any sort of thermal throttling at all. And the most we're gonna get is about 40, 41 degrees Celsius and we can get consistent 60 fps throughout the entire gameplay at the expense of having an additional accessory strap to the phone so this is the 
once again, Black Shark Fun Cooler 3 Pro. And uh, yeah, it's a TC cooler with a fan behind there. Pretty standard, I would say. Does the job well, and uh, I'm sure it consumes a lot of power because TEC coolers, yeah, they are quite power hungry. As you can see, we started off with like 94% on the power bank, and now it's only at 76. So I'm not quite sure how much wattage this thing consumes. Maybe I'll try to find out and leave it on the screen here for you guys to see because this thing can also detect the wattage of the cooler itself. So yeah, no thermal throttling, just slap a cooler in and we can get the best performance possible. I will also try to mute the game so you can hear the fan noise. Sounds a lot like a laptop cooler when it's at a high RPM, so uh, yeah, that, that's the downside of having to use a cooler on your phone. So yes, we will talk about thermal throttling and whatnot in a future video. So do subscribe and we'll see you guys in that video. Before we end this video, I also want to ask you guys one last question. Do you guys still want to see the video where we use the S24 Plus with this watt meter and also this cooler while playing Genshin Impact? So we can try out uh, and also try to log what wattage the Exynos 2400 consumes. Do let me know down in the comment section below and yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.